Welcome to Online Dog Coach. My name is Susie, and in this lesson you'll be teaching your dog to willingly go into a crate or a kennel. There are times when you will need this, such as transporting your dog in the car, if your dog is recovering from surgery or injury, or if you decide to go to a sporting event with your pet. In this lesson you will need patience, your dog, treats and toys, and a crate. You'll want to make sure your crate is appropriately sized for your dog. It needs to be large enough that they can stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. There are several different kinds of crates you can get at the pet store. This one is a soft-sided crate, which is very portable and easy to move. It's not a good choice for leaving your dog for long periods of time. This crate is a wire crate and can be taken apart as well for transporting. However, we recommend the plastic crate. It's the safest crate to keep your dog in, especially if you're planning on leaving them for long periods of time. This is Eli, and we're going to be working with him on going into the crate. We're, for the sake of this training and so that you can see him moving in and out, we will be using the metal crate. To start with, you want to just expose him to the crate. Leave it out. Leave the door open so that he can go in and out. And you can even toss treats and toys in so that they associate it in a non-threatening manner. Good boy. The next step is to get the dog to go all the way in the crate and start closing the door behind them. There's a variety of ways you can do this. Some of them will automatically go in by just tossing in their treat or toy. You might need to leave something that takes a little bit more time for them, such as this treat that I've stuffed with specialty dog treat. And I'll just put that in there and close the door behind him for just a second or two. Ready? Eli. Kennel. You can start introducing the word. You'll notice he's not concerned. Good boy. And you don't want him to have the treat when he comes out. You want him to associate the treat with being inside the kennel. So I'm going to just remove the reward and give him his release word so that he can come out. OK, free. Good boy. Ready? Go kennel. Whoopsie. Go kennel. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, free. What a good boy. Yes. Yes. Now, you don't want them to have the treat when they come out of the kennel. You don't want them to be rewarded for being outside of the kennel. He can only have this when he's inside and happy. Are you ready? Go on, kennel. Good boy. And you'll notice I'm only leaving the door shut for a few seconds at a time. Good boy. Okay, free. Yes! What a good boy. Now that Eli is becoming more comfortable being inside the crate with the door closed, it's time to start leaving him in there for longer periods of time. When placing a dog in a kennel for a longer period of time, you want to make sure that you have safe chew toys. Toys that you can get at the pet store that cannot be chewed up, torn, that they can't get tangled in. And I have this one that I've put the treat inside, and I'm just going to let him go in there. Eli kennel! and close the door behind him. He's busy, there he goes. And we'll just leave him in there for a few moments. Make sure that when they're in there, they have, they're calm, they have something that they can do, such as something to chew on. Stay with them during the training process and remain calm yourself. When it's time for him to come out, make sure that you remove the reward so that he's not being rewarded for leaving. Ready, Eli? So we'll just remove this. He's enjoying that. Good boy. OK, free. And he can come out. Good boy. Yes. You want to go in again, huh?
If you find that your dog whines and scratches or barks, make sure you only let them out when they're calm and quiet. What you can do is just stand at the door and issue some sort of a quiet or calm or easy, whatever your word is, to calm them down. And then as soon as they have quit scratching or quit barking, that's when you can go ahead and open the door to let them out. Thank you for joining Online Dog Coach, where we want you to have safe and responsible fun with your dog.